Hey guys, and a welcome to my soul apartment, okay? Now, this video is very, very overdue. I have been living in this apartment for about two years now, and I am just now getting around to showing you guys what my apartment looks like. Now, this apartment is a 700,001, or about, it's actually like 700 to 7, 120 wait 720,001 uh soul apartment so i'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and say it's about 700 dollars um so that's pretty good for soul now there are better apartments for a little bit more money in this area and of course this area is not like dead center soul so it is a little bit cheaper out here as well now the first thing that you see when you walk in is the shoe cabinet and the refrigerator. So in my apartment I do not have a regular size refrigerator and I was actually going to purchase one when I first moved here but I decided to just go ahead and keep the small one because I just knew it would just be me and it's, it's big enough for just me you know. So I do have a small refrigerator. Sometimes it does get in the way but for the most part I have been making do with having a small refrigerator. And then on top of my refrigerator I just have these little bags so that I could throw in my recycling one thing I don't really like about this apartment is that there isn't much storage so to me sometimes it feels cluttered because things that I would tuck away um, has to be out in the open okay so moving on the next thing right in front of the front door is my bathroom um, my bathroom is not like the typical Korean bathrooms because the shower as you can see is separated from where the toilet is and it's kind of like in this weird way I honestly feel like before this like door wasn't even here like which is an open bathroom um, and then someone probably came in and installed this little doorway like this but overall I am really glad that I have this little separation here because I really didn't like in my other bathrooms how like everything got wet whenever I took a shower now I don't know if y'all peeped it or not but yes my shower head filter needs changing <laughs> and I did try to change it myself but I can't unscrew it like I I just can't I'm not strong enough but this is perfect because now you guys can see just how nasty the water is and I don't even think it's just in Korea like I feel like you should probably be using a filter anywhere you are like even if you're in the States just go ahead and use a filter it's not gonna hurt you know so this is what my filter looks like now it's nasty and I'm so glad that I actually use a filter for my shower head and if you guys are wondering I got this shower head from Emart I believe Okay, the lighting is horrible like this, but that is the bathroom behind me over there. Um, so when you come out of the bathroom and you walk to the right, the door, front door is over there, um, you're going to see the living room area. So the living room area is what you will see first when you come out around the corner, but if you walk in a little bit further, boom, there's the kitchen. <laughs> now the kitchen is tiny teeny teeny tiny and it really sucks because if you saw my suan apartment tour y'all oh my god this apartment is nothing <laughs> compared to my suan apartment um if you haven't seen it definitely check it out i'll link it below but anyways it is so difficult to cook in this teeny tiny kitchen but somehow i make do and earlier I mentioned how there is a very little storage in my apartment. So this is kind of my makeshift pantry, I guess. So I just put some shelves together and got these little baskets from Daiso and just kind of throw, threw in my non-perishables, some seasonings, um, snacks and stuff like that into these baskets. That's just the best I can do. To me, it does look a little bit cluttered, but like I said, I don't have much storage here. So I don't have much storage, I don't have much cabinet space, nothing. <laughs> So one thing I do like about this area though is that it is an open kitchen I guess <laughs> even though it is small um, it is connected to the living room area and I like that because if I have guests over I can be preparing something in the kitchen while still um, being able to socialize so I do really like that um, I did used to have like a rug and all of this in here but it just got so dusty all the time so one thing you'll notice while looking around is that I have very minimal like me it's not really like super decorated or anything like that it's just stuff placed <laughs> placed in places okay i guess i never really felt that inspired to decorate this place like i did my suan apartment um it's still very homey to me like i come home from work and i'm just like yes i'm home but 
overall this is not you know anything like it was in my Suwon apartment all right you guys so the last place I need to show you is one of my favorite places in this apartment because it's where I end my day um, and that is my bedroom okay so one thing I really needed in my apartment is to have a bedroom separate from the living room area or the kitchen area and a lot of times in Korea there are usually studio style apartments so everything is just one big room and that is one thing that I just was not looking for y'all so I'm really glad that I got an apartment that had a separate bedroom and not only that the bedroom is a fairly decent size you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the bedroom um, so now I'm standing like in the kitchen area I guess so the kitchen is here um, to my left and the living room is over there to my right and then right in front of me is the door to my room okay so let's go ahead and take a look so as you can see I am able to have a queen size bed in here a nightstand a desk and two large wardrobes and still have some moving space so I really am happy that I do have a fairly decent sized bedroom and y'all this is my safe place I don't even know like this is my this is my baby okay I love ending my night in this room <laughs> but yeah there's really not much to see in this room I mean yeah it's just a bedroom again I actually had a throw rug in this area too but it was just so dusty I don't know I just got it's just so much easier to sweep than it is to have to vacuum all the time and even after I vacuum it's like the next day I would see little dust bunnies and stuff it was ridiculous but yeah this is my bedroom it's cute it's real cute <laughs> Okay, yeah, so that is my apartment tour. Um, I started the lighting so bad. I would try to get close up to this lamp so that it'll like make me look a little better. Hold on one second. Let me turn on this ring light. <laughs> okay, so I just want to go ahead and end the video sitting down in front of the camera like this while I'm holding the camera. But um, yeah, so this is my little apartment. I absolutely love it here. There's a little bit of information about this place. Again, it is about 720,000 won per month for this place. So I just kind of guesstimated that that's like $700. Well, one reason why I feel like it's so cheap because it is considered a one and a half, 1.5 room apartment and I, I I don't know why they call it 1.5 in my opinion it's just one room <laughs> but I think they consider this living room area like a partial room but anyway um most apartments that are 1.5 bedroom apartments are very steep at least more than 700 bucks a month um but i feel like one reason why this apartment is so cheap is because it's on the fifth floor and there is no elevator so i i'm pretty sure that's why it's a little bit cheaper to me i don't mind taking the stairs i'm not gonna lie though in the beginning in the beginning it was not easy okay it was not easy at all but since i've been living here for two years i can walk up these stairs with no problem i get to the top and don't even sound like i'm tired so it has gotten so much easier for me so i don't really mind that i have to walk up all these stairs as long as i save them coins okay but yeah there's really not much else to say about my apartment um i love it here it's nice it's cozy and it's, it's, an, it's big enough for me, okay? Now, I couldn't live here with somebody else, but it's big enough for me, that's for sure. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a good thumbs up. And if you're not already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, okay? It don't cost nothing, it's free. It's free 99. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. You guys take care, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!